couple days ago, I bought the Daytona Fulton Jack from Harbor Freight for a hundred ninety nine dollars and ninety nine cents. I am going to do a non biased comparison to the big red Fulton Jack that I bought five months ago from Tractor Supply for two hundred nineteen dollars and ninety nine cents. The two jacks look pretty similar. There is a cover plate holding by four screws. The oil field hold can be accessed by removing the cover plate. The toner offer a metal screw on type oil field plug. The big red comes with a rubber plug. Here, we are going to take a look at the welding quality of these two jacks. I am going to measure the thickness of material of these two jacks. Thicker material does not necessarily translate into safer or better quality. This is just for comparison purpose. Let's purge the air on the toner and fill the oil if necessary. On the toner's instruction, it says the oil should be on top of the piston. I'm going to use a tiny cable tied to test the level of the oil.
Let's see how fast these jacks go up. I have to point out the Daytona ran down a little bit at the first pump. After I purged the air for the second time, it stays there and it does not go down anymore. Now let's see how these jacks hold up under load. I am going to use a laser level and a sticker on the vehicle for reference. This is a 2017 Audi Q7, weighs about 4,700 pounds. Lifting one wheel equals to about 1,200 pounds, which is pretty light compared to these two jacks capacity but this is what I have for the moment Thanks for watching.